shoulder and chest bulletproofing to open up, work on mobility, warm it up. We're gonna come around the world here. You wanna have a nice wide grip. You don't want it to be like, uh, like your bone breaking, right? You don't wanna dislocate anything. You can also come around like this. Right? You can do lat spread, so you're gonna pull it. This is way too thick of a band to do that. You can also come down here, pull it down to your chest, pull it down behind your back, down to your chest, pull it down to your back, rotate here, down to your chest, right? Now pull up, right? Pulling your chest up, maybe pulling it behind your head here. Pull the band as you do it. This is going to warm up your, your lats, also your shoulder mobility. Yeah, so when you really are in the gym, you start to know everyone. It becomes your second home, right? You make friends, and that's 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 the fun in it, you know? Um, the gym can be intimidating at first, but the more you come in here, you're going to make friends, you're going to see familiar faces, and it becomes like that second home, it becomes that club on the weekends, right? Um, and it honestly feels way better than going to the club because instead of waking up and being hungover, um, you feel accomplished at the end of the night and you wake up in the morning and you're still on track with your goals. You know, you're not hungover, you're not feeling like shit. Um, but if you do go out and drink on the weekends, which I'm not, you know, I'm not saying it's bad, but just my non-negotiable is if I go out and drink on the weekends or at night or whenever, next morning I have to work out. So make a rule for yourself, right? Because yeah, it's harder to work out when you're hungover, but you know what I'm saying? You're gonna sweat it out and you're gonna feel better. Honestly, that's the cure to hangover is working out. So that's my tip as well. You go out and you drink, next morning you have to work out. That's your rule. No matter what, you have to work out. No matter how hungover you are, you have to work out, sweat it out, and you're gonna feel better. It's gonna be hard as fuck to get started. It's gonna be hard as fuck to get through it, um, but you're gonna feel way better after. So I just stretch out my shoulders. Um, before I get into my chest, I'll do this in between. I'll do this before, do this after. Chest workout that I absolutely love doing is simply just arm swings, right? We want to open up our chest. So as I swing, I'm swinging with my palms open, right? And then I may turn my hand and chop this way. So I'm doing it with different, different directions. And then we come here. This really actually helps a lot. Open up your chest, biceps, your arms, shoulders, and then you can grab a wall, grab a wall here. You're gonna rotate your body, also rotating your shoulder, opening up your chest. So as I'm on the wall, I'm actually rotating my shoulder over. So I'll show you here as well. So you use the wall to stretch out your chest. So you're gonna grab the wall, you're gonna open up your chest and you're gonna feel a stretch in your chest. From there, you can rotate your shoulder over and stretch out your shoulder. Um, and I do this before, after, during, in between, always stretching because as you lift more, you're gonna get more and more tight. Um, and yeah. Then I'm gonna start working up my sets. Start off light, work up each set. Let's get it. So to warm up your shoulders, you're gonna get a two and a half or resistance band, something very light, even just no weight works really good. You're gonna put your elbow on a wall. You're gonna practice rotating, right? This is gonna help with your rotator cuff and warming up your shoulder, right? Because you can't shoulder press, you can't press heavy movement without having strong rotator cuffs, having strong um, ligaments, joints, things like that, right? You can't fire a cannon out of a canoe. So you have to have your foundations built strong. So you're gonna do this to warm up your shoulder. Um, 15, 20 reps. You can also come here and open up this way. So again, your elbow is onto the wall, your wrist is onto the wall. You keep your elbow in one spot. You're gonna come down, you're gonna rotate. Come up, come down, rotate. Come up, you're gonna control it. Make sure you're rotating as much as you can. Don't force it. If it doesn't feel comfortable or if it's giving you any pain, um, take it slow and steady. Start off with no weight. You can work up. You don't want to go heavy with this. Like I said, this is a 2.5. 
heaviest I will work up is five to 10 pounds. Um, another thing I like to do for shoulder mobility is literally work on rotating and controlling the plate. Play with it. Make sure that you're rotating 360. This is a fun challenge because it helps with balance, but it's also good for your shoulders. I honestly just freestyle it. Over here, right? You're gonna come around, gonna rotate all the way, flip with the wrist, shoulders rotating, come back, reverse. Okay, come all the way up to the top. 